As you can see, I don't have my main light on because I want a little bit of darkness here, but I still want to be able to see what I'm doing. One of the important things about not having to be doing this in bright light is it's hard to tell the color of the metals. And uh, I have a striker, a little contraption that makes the sparks to light your thing, might light your uh, torch. Turn on the gas first, and you can see my flame, and then I'll put some oxygen to it. Oop, too much. Very delicate. You can see that's uh, a reducing flame. And then right there, right at the very tit, is just the flame you want. Okay. Got my pig handy just in case I need it. We're going to get to work here. And that's done. I'm going to drop this in the water while it's still hot. And what it does is that when it hits the water, you heard that sound, it will more easily take off the glass. The glass formed by the flux will break off because it's like a sand. And uh, just it makes it a little easier to clean up to drop this in the water while it's still hot. Okay, now here we have the finished piece. It's soldered, shaped, it's done. It needs a... Uh, another slight sanding just to get the oxidation off and maybe a little bit of steel brush to get uh, the rest of the glass off it will be cleaned up buffed and this piece is through now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, solder the rest of this stuff up and when we're done we'll go out to the buffing wheel and then we'll learn a little bit about uh, buffing with rouge and fabuluster and uh, the types of uh, buffs and uh, the two different ways to buff and what happens if you let something go and uh, a general overlay on the buffing which is the final it will be noted that the when you buff the items they really do become alive uh, they, miraculously, they miraculously change from blah to something really great all right, here we have the piece. It's nice and done. Uh, I've just taken the 320 grit sandpaper and cleaned it up. Took the oxidation back off of it. You can see we have the, uh, the piece ready to go. And it's ready to go to buffing right now.